So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again with another Declan Rice story uh, or stories, should I say, uh, because nobody seems to have a scooby what they're talking about. They're all making it up as if nobody's got a clue. Oh, let's just guess. Let's just make this one up. Let's make that one up. Uh, but before we're getting into ripping this all apart, uh, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, apologies for only uploading one video yesterday, and uh, this has been the only one today. I was partying, and um, I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit fragile today. I wouldn't say that I'm smashed or hungover, because I don't do hangovers. In fact, we're actually on the suaves. Happy birthday to me tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Uh, but yes, arriving home at 8 o'clock in the morning after leaving the club uh, probably wasn't the best idea for a, a middle-aged man to be doing. <laughs> but it is what it is. You only live once, and I'm... Uh, I'm going to make full advice, uh, make the fully, can't even speak. I'm going to make the most of it. We'll put it that way instead. But anyway, listen, I'm waffling. Uh, let's talk about Declan Rice. Uh, because according to Goal, um, isn't that the isn't that the um, the outlet that Charlie Boy Watts works for? Oh, of course it is, yes. According to Goal, uh, Arsenal target Declan Rice has rejected Bayern Munich's offer to sign the midfielder. Multiple reports have suggested that Rice wants to stay in England and has no intention of leaving um, the Premier League. Um, with Arsenal earning a Champions League spot and almost winning the title in the last campaign. Rice could be lured. That's a good buzzword, isn't it? It could be lured. We're going to lure him into our den. I mean, how creepy does that sound? You know, it could be lured to North London. What are they chatting about? Um, <laughs> it's funny because this is going to go on and on and on. And on and on. And if you just type in on a Google search, I did this literally just now. Uh, if you type in on a Google search, Rice, don't even put Declan, just put Rice, Arsenal, Bayern, and then press search. It come up with Bayern Munich ready to pay 100 million euros for West Ham star Declan Rice. That was three hours ago. Uh, 21 hours ago. Arsenal to miss out on Declan Rice as Bayern Munich deal is close. Uh, 11 hours ago. Shock twist. Oh, my God, there's a twist in the Declan Rice saga with European giants close to signing him. If we go back one day ago, Declan Rice favours Premier League move. Declan Rice makes transfer preference clear as Arsenal and Bayern battle it out. Declan Rice, three days ago, apparently snubs Bayern Munich and prioritises on the Premier League. OK, mate. Uh, the funniest thing about this is every single media outlet is contradicting the other so like one person saying he's going next one says he's gone then he's going to stay in the Premier League next one saying he's going Bayern next one staying in Premier League then he's saying in, not staying in the Premier League he's going to Bayern but then there's a twist and he could be lured I, I've, I've seen chat that Thomas Tuchel has been on the phone to him and they've had a conversation he's convinced him like I've seen obviously back in January we know all the BS reports that came out in January um, about he gave his word he, gives his, he gave Arteta his word. So I don't know why all these stories are coming out because it's already a done deal. He gave Arteta his word. Um, the funny thing about this story, though, for me, is once you see a story about Declan Rice, it's always Caicedo's then shoehorned into the conversation somehow. And apparently, Caicedo wants to play Champions League football. Apparently, Caicedo, his preference is Arsenal. Apparently... He's agreed terms with Arsenal. Oh, yes. So now we've got a personal terms agreed with Caicedo and Declan Rice has already given his word. We're cooking. What is Edu cooking? He is cooking a feast. A feast for us all to nibble on next season and uh, make sure we win the Premier League title after narrowly missing out. Narrowly missing out. Okay. Like I said in previous videos, the winner of the Premier League got three million quid more than second place. What's the incentive to go and outspend and do what's required? If you're a businessman, you're not going to go and spend an extra 100 million on top of what you would have already spent to get 3 million back. You're not going to do that. So if anyone thinks that we're going out there and getting Rice and Caicedo, give it up, people. We'll be lucky to get either of them um, because this football club doesn't want to win um, as much as they make out they do. And that is the short and curlies of it. The fact and reality is um, we're keeping... Good relationships. In fact, that was one I wanted to read. Um, where are we? 
There we go. Let's go Fabrizio's. Uh, was it Fabrizio's Twitter? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Uh, I will be doing some videos on the second channel tomorrow. Obviously, uh, there's some breaking news about Benzema today. Uh, I was shocked by that. I can't lie. But then somebody dangled 350 million um, pounds in my face to go and play for him. I'd be going as well. Um, where are we? Ah, uh, here we go. No breakthrough in negotiations for Declan Rice at this stage. Nothing has changed with Bayern, Arsenal or any other club. Arsenal will bid after the final. Bayern are interested, but nothing is done or close yet. I see another one. Did I post it on my Insta? Yes, I did. There was another one. This is it, it, Nobody knows. Genuinely, nobody knows. It's just a waffle. Absolute waffle. Um, where are we? That was last night. There we go. There we go. So, this is some geezer on Twitter. I understand that a bid for Rice should be submitted by this Friday. Arsenal want to keep a good relationship with West Ham as to why they held off before the final. Um, and they understand that there's going to be lots of negotiations involved. So Arsenal want to keep a good relationship with West Ham, says some kid on Twitter. OK, and I understand there'll be a bidding by Friday. When's the, um, when's the, um, the final? The final's Wednesday, isn't it? Is it Wednesday or is that the Champions League final? In fact, the final, yeah, the final is Wednesday. So that kid's just guessing. It's just guesswork. Yeah, no bid will be made until after the final. Well, I my understanding is there will be a bid in by Friday. Well, the finals on on Wednesday. First day, everyone will be partying. Then Friday. Oh look, see, I called it first. It's pretty easy, mate. There is going to be a bid. We would we've been told that we're waiting until after the final. So there is going to be a bid. It won't be enough and it'll get rejected. That's how it is. That's how Arsenal are. If we want Declan Rice that badly, just pay the money. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Hello, West Ham. How much do you want for Declan Rice? Oh, hello, Mr. Edu. Um, we want 100 million. Well, we can't go to 100 million. Uh, we was thinking 60. Beep, beep, beep. That's how the conversation is going to go. That is exactly how it's going to go. And uh, they're going to realise that we're not a serious outfit. And Bayern Munich could probably end up getting him. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Bayern Munich make out they've got no money and make out their skin. They're one of the biggest football clubs on the planet. They have money. And they've just got rid of a load of staff. So they've just saved on the wage bill. They'll be getting rid of a few players. Mane and Sane are up for sale, apparently. Uh, Kingsley Coman could be leaving. I doubt he will, but he could be. You never know. And they are going to have to spend because they're... I wouldn't say they're lucky that they won the league because it's not lucky to win a league title. But... They're not the force they were five years ago. Same with Real Madrid. You know, Real Madrid, their managers come out today and said, um, we need to be more competitive. They've won six trophies in two years. Meanwhile, down the, down the, um, the Emirates, woohoo, wheeling out righty with another kid. Woohoo, yay, let's crowd surf. Let's crowd surf, yay. All our hierarchy are coming out saying we've had a fantastic season. Meanwhile, at Madrid, they're getting rid of player after player after player after player. Yeah. Asensio signing for PSG. Nacho could be leaving. leaving. Danny Ceballos could be leaving. Mendy's leaving. You know, Odria Zola's leaving. Benzema's now leaving. Obviously, that was his own choice. But it's almost like accountability at Madrid happens. Like, you are accountable, right? If you don't play well, mate, see you later. That's how it is. Meanwhile, at Arsenal, crowd surfing and everything's great. We've got good vibes. You know, we brought a dog to enhance the, uh, the good feeling around the training ground. Yay! Everything's great. And then they wonder why we don't win the league title and why Man City win it. Because yeah, they're the only club who don't talk about top four processes or dogs. I, I don't see any of their fans waffling about top four. I don't see any of their fans waffling about process. Yeah, Even without Haaland, they would have won the league. Because they would have just played everyone in false nine positions all season. They, they won it two seasons in a row before that. Anyway, without a striker. So I don't see why we can't get to that level. The way we get to that level... Yeah, is by actually doing what's required. You know, this is what we were supposed to be doing whilst we we're in the stadium. You know, now people are talking about progress. <sighs> Nobody was talking about progress five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. You know, Marcus Rashford was at it the weekend yesterday. Oh, yeah, we've come a long way this season. There's been a lot of progress. Mate, you just lost the cup final. And again, him doing up his PR, walking around, picking players up. Oh, look at good Marcus. Oh, Marcus, so great. Marcus, oh, what a lovely guy. Oh, let, let me pick you up. Oh, he's so good. 
from boy to man in Man United colour. These people are, I won't say what I want to say. Yeah, but at the end of the day, yeah, all of this BS and PR is um, is the reason my club does not win the league. Because if we were actually a serious club, Declan Rice would have already been signed. Yeah, I don't care what anyone says. We want to keep good relations with um, with West Ham. But we also kept good relations with Brighton. And we, what, we're fucking a PR agency. Oh, let's keep good relations. Like, what's going on here? It, it makes no sense to me. Yeah, at the end of the day, if we wanted Caicedo that badly, we would have got him in January. We don't. Yeah, we don't. We don't want to go to a certain amount of money. Yeah, and that's that's as simple as that. And Chelsea will come in and they'll probably get him. Yeah, whether whether he's coming out saying he wants Champions League football or not is irrelevant. Yeah, because all of this waffle about Champions League football is completely pointless. Yeah, because Kante left the champions to go and play for Chelsea, who were tenth. Oh yeah, but that's just one. That's just one player. It's just one player. Okay, Casemiro left Real Madrid. I went to Man United and they weren't in the Champions League and he had just won it. Yeah, well, Leah's two player. What about Di Maria then? Uh, Di Maria signed for Man United in the Europa League after just winning the Champions League. So all of this waffle. And by the way, Kante actually won the Champions League at Chelsea. He didn't win it at Leicester. Don't matter about Champions League football. If you if you have the money and you're willing to spend the money, you buy the player. It doesn't matter who it is. Yeah, everyone has a price. Why do you think Karim Benzema is leaving Real Madrid? That guy is an absolute icon of that football club. He'll be remembered for generation after generation after generation. That he is embedded in Real Madrid's history for the rest of his days and the rest of that club's days. Yeah, and the fact is, the money, 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 money. 350 million quid to kick a ball around. Yeah, Ronaldo's there for the same reason. It wouldn't surprise me if Messi went there. Now, at the end of the day, people underestimate the power of money. Yeah, if everyone's got a price. And if we paid a price, we would have had Declan Rice already. We'd have been signed, sealed, delivered, play your final. He's going to go away a hero if he wins it and run off into the wilderness. The love story. He, he won the trophy. He was the captain that won the trophy. And then he went to play for a bigger club. He got his send off and all of that crap. Yeah, if we wanted Caicedo in, in January that badly, we would have put 100 million on the table and we would have got him. And we probably would have won the league if we had signed him. You know, this club ain't serious. It hasn't been serious the whole time we've been at the Emirates. You know, but unfortunately, the only thing it is serious about, two things. Uh, number one, PR, which they're elite. They're the best in the world at PR. Um, and everyone gets sucked in and brainwashed by it. And number two, um, my, uh, putting a clothing brand out there because they're wheeling out kits left, right and centre. You know, but don't worry. Don't worry, though. Don't worry, because we're going to keep Weiss, uh, because he won Game Changer of the Year award. What even is that? You scored one goal in the 97th minute and you get an award for that. This is where football is going, people. So, uh, And this is why they're adding all of these new awards to dilute it, filter it, to make everyone a winner, even if they lose. Yeah, Arsenal didn't win anything this season. It's seen as success. You know, And the funny thing as well is Man United... They won the cup, then they obviously lost the cup final yesterday and they finished third. And they've had a better season than us. And everyone was out here laughing at them yesterday. They've won a trophy. They've won a trophy. And it makes makes me just to sit there and think like, how can any Arsenal fan on the planet genuinely think that no trophy is better than a trophy? Oh, but Lee, it's the Carabao Cup. Really? Yeah, it's the Carabao Cup. It's beneath a club like Arsenal. Oh, really? Well, because the super fan channel owner told you, the same one whose uh, Twitter account today has posted out, see you at Wembley, Mikel, because we're now in the Community Shield. So a glorified soccer aid is all right for Arsenal, but a Carabao Cup isn't. Okay, cool. We'll remember that. We'll remember that. It's pathetic. This football club has been a sham for a long, long time. And I've said to everyone, I'll be shocked if we get Declan Rice. I'll be shocked if we get Caicedo. Yeah, that's still the case. Nobody knows what's going on. Yeah, and everyone's hoping and guessing. Granite Xhaka as well. Um, it's an hour and 39 minutes until midnight in Spain. Um, so, what, two hours and 39 minutes in the UK until this week's over and we start a new week. He said to us after the game the other day, he said to the fans outside the ground, um, when everyone was having their street parties and their parade for coming second, he said to the fans when he was signing stuff, 
Oh, are you leaving Granite? Are you leaving Granite? We'll find out next week. Well, you've got two hours, 39 minutes, mate. Otherwise, that's a lie because the week's gone. Anyway, I'll be back again tomorrow. I will have three uploads on here tomorrow. I'll be doing them in the morning um, and scheduling them in. I'll have one on the other channel. Uh, we'll speak about Karen Benzema on the other channel. And then I'm going to the beach for the day uh, to celebrate my birthday. Um, all have a blessed day. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Sub to Lee Reacts. And uh, yeah, man, I'll tether out. Eddie out.